for tonight. Residents living south of Alamo say they've had enough of the odors coming from the wastewater treatment facility nearby. City officials tell us they hear the complaints loud and clear. Channel 5's Ryan Nelson found out how the city is trying to do away with the decades old facility. The wastewater treatment lagoons of South Alamo are bringing one man to his boiling point. Geraldo Leal lives in the county's jurisdiction, not the city of Alamos. He says he's tired of dealing with the offensive odors coming from a plant that doesn't even service him. He's a good boy. He likes playing. He likes playing. Nothing in this world brings Geraldo Leal more joy than his German shepherds. Leal says he can't spend quality time with his four-legged friends at home. I feel sorry for him because he has to support all the smell out here. And the wastewater treatment plant nearby is to blame. I like to train my dogs also, and I can't do it here. I have to go out somewhere to take them over to train them. Alamo's wastewater treatment plant still runs strong about 70 years after its creation. Leal moved within a mile of the plant about 15 years ago. He says he thought he was getting a good deal, only to discover it came with strings attached. There's no activity you can do outside. I don't even like coming out, uh, cutting my yard. I, had to fire, I hired somebody to come and do it because I can't stand over here the smell of that. Leal isn't alone in his frustrations. Other Alamo residents filed formal complaints with the Texas Commission on Environmental Quality in 2016. The ensuing TCEQ investigation discovered the facility failed to not discharge from any source whatsoever one or more air contaminants or combinations thereof and as a result could be injurious to or to adversely affect human health or welfare, animal life, vegetation or property, or as to interfere with the normal use and enjoyment of animal life, vegetation or property. The city of Alamo uses a lagoon system. Wastewater flows from one lagoon to another before the product feeds into the Arroyo, Colorado. Alamo City Manager Luciano Ozuna Jr. tells Channel 5 News the city has taken action to mitigate the odors. The city has spent about $1.7 million in building what is called a headworks. We've bought some aerators for the lagoons so that they, they can dissipate the odors that come out of the lagoon. Ozuna says the city is making an effort to build an odorless mechanical plant. I have submitted a full application to the Texas Water Development Board so that uh, we can build a mechanical plant. He tells us the plant will carry a price tag of about $11 million. Pending approval, construction could begin by the end of next year. Definitely to do something about it. I don't care whether they move it or, or put some chemicals that, that uh, absorb this, the, the odor. No matter how offensive the odor, nothing can come between Leal and his pups. TCEQ is considering renewing the plant's permit for operation. Earlier this month, they referred the city's application to the State Office of Administrative Hearings. They did so at the request of Alamo residents. The hearing will be held in mid to late 2018. Here, residents and city officials alike will be able to make their case for why the city's permit for the lagoon system should or should not be renewed. In the studio, Ryan Nelson.